hey what's up people so uh, i got wind two hours ago foodie beauties back in canada so let me just uh start from the beginning it's called saint hubert bees she's eating one of her favorites saint hubert let's go let's see what she's up to and i gotta tell people i'm live as well how's everybody holy moly i'm amy what's up ash foxy What's going on, Fred? But I need to eat this because I'm crazy. Welcome. Comfort food is what it is. It makes me not be sad. You know what would make me happy? If the stupid thing. Yes. Hi. Oh, no, I have two of them scheduled. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Why am I messing up my streams? And of course, she's in the middle of nowhere. Of course, she'd be in the middle of nowhere. So Where else this would is she not be? what I want to do with my life. Okay. Beaker. Hi, guys. When I say middle of nowhere, I mean actually Cornwall, but she's probably at a park or somewhere. What? No. I shouldn't be eating this? Emery, soil, how are you yeah. going? Don't say these things. I want to go back already, but I'm not going to. Hi, Gemini. Hi, everybody. I miss. I missed too many people again. Catch up on it. Okay, I got St. Hubert's. I don't want to eat in the restaurant for some reason. So I just took it to go. Rosemary's baby. Hi, Jackie, Susie, everyone I missed. Hello, Melissa. <laughs> hey, Trixie. No, I don't have two strikes. I got a strike before, but it only lasts 90 days. That's why it's gone. So if you can not strike my channel, that would be great. Oh, fries and gravy. Maybe. What would she have gotten whoops, whoops, whoops. a strike for? Okay, I went to the drive-thru and I'm like, hey, before. can I order your pot? <laughs> There's going to be a huge box of mountain in here. I'm like, hey, can I order your pot pie? They're like, you can. Hey, Aisha, hey, thank you for the super um thing, or the, the birthday message. I did see it just not, not long ago. Thank you. I'll like it in a, in a bit. Hey, Desert Rose, look at this. Silvio, hi, me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't start, Brenda. Hi, Joey. Okay. <clears throat> You think she got the greens 100%? I yeah, I would think so. Judging by previous experiences and actions, I would say she's smoking again. She just is not going to talk about it. Um, What am I going to... Give me two forks. Probably think that it's going to be for two people. It's, it, no, it's one pot pie. Hi, Z. Hey, Anastasia. Okay, what are we gonna eat first? Some fried gravy? Okay, let's have some fried gravy. For the ketchup. Hi, Sabre. Joke's on them. Rosemary's. I don't have any lights in here, hardly. 
Nu er det på pøje. Nå. No. No, because I have to take the medications. So I'm just visiting and I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. There's somebody coming. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons. And you're like, just an excuse, whatever. It's not. I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know. <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one? <gasps> A lot worse. I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. The geese. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, Lou. Uh -huh. <clears throat> like the wise guys traveling through the desert? What? <laughs> Your husband's type too? This is so good. This gravy from... Uh, Our queen is back in Canada. We miss Juliana. I know. Yeah, I think it's the same setup as usual. She's staying at her mom's. She can't go live there. Maybe she's been warned. Or maybe she just doesn't want to go live there to tell or show people that she's live. Like the last time, a couple months ago, where cars were almost being towed. She has her car probably parked on the street or in the driveway of the townhouse. And she just doesn't want her, her crap to be towed. So she's not going to say exactly where she is which is her mom's because then marty and crew were almost towing cars out of there i want to name me too i really do what's up, faith lane what's up i'll be seeing her soon it's i mean i'll see her, her again chat. soon inshallah like good question well one day i feel like like i have two two homes yeah salah is in chat so i guess that tells you everything is possibly good I have two families it's weird the clam 18 plus and lauren b hello are we getting sand back yeah we are isha hi energy egg no it's not yeah. the 10. hi graphic it's just frying gravy that's gonna work get some back and then when she leaves within the next couple of months uh, where's Sam going to stay at the mom's with Buster? Who's going to take care of Sam? I think Sam is better left where he is. At least somebody likes him, wants him there, and can take care of him steadily rather than somebody back and forth into the country that doesn't even know when she's going to be back into the country rather than away from the country. Like, it's, I would never want an animal to go through that. Oh, Chris, you would have liked the plane incident. Doing a live stream for the eclipse Monday in court. Monday in court. What the eclipse? Really? Mm, no, I'll drive up to the country. Speaking of the eclipse, let me check. You got chased by geese. I don't have a computer. <laughs> Sam's neck beard. <laughs> let me You're check the path. You're such a basement dweller, Sam. Of the You're such a basement dweller. I can't wait to yell at him again. But too late. The only thing I'm missing and there's a stain on my heart is for <laughs> my pet. I don't feel right. Like I feel weird. I have to go home. <laughs> yep. Corn is actually uh, in the path of the eclipse. Yeah, you can literally at about 325 EDT. On April the 8th, if you're in Cornwall, you'll be able to see the eclipse because there's a very specific path, right? That stretches from uh, Mexico into the United States and uh, across Canada. For me to see the eclipse, I either have to go to Niagara Falls or I have to go to like uh, a place like Leamington or um, Port Dover or uh, Picton, Ontario, or I gotta go, like, go to Cornwall or around Sherbrooke, Quebec. So it's I interesting. Like, you go to the falls? Now I miss that. You going to Niagara? Oh, cool. Oh, no! I forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Oh, nice. Uh, it was 2017, Faith. I did read an article that in 2017 in the U.S., a few people were able to see um, the eclipse. The next one will be, 
I think for all in North America is in 20 years to 2044. So don't miss out on this one. If you're able to see it, then see it. Those mother. It will be extremely. I ordered two knockout chicken tenders. At the falls, yes. <laughs> to go Super in my pot. Why? Oh, I can't stand that. I hate when they get the order back. Hopefully, you can vlog a Palestine. Rally. Well, my tonight. Oh, yeah, they have them, eh? Thank you for the super chat. Maybe. Go early. Have yeah. fun. I guess so. The Nazis. Or I could just like just stay away from the falls and maybe go to like Port Dover or something or Leamington. At least I know that a lot of people will be in Leamington or Port Dover and I can still see the same thing. But, no, but get your glasses out, people. People keep forgetting you need special um, eclipse lenses. So make sure you get those. You can get them off Amazon one day. One day uh, fulfillment if you have Prime. So I can order them today and get them tomorrow. The, the eclipse glasses are actually pretty expensive now. I don't know what's going on. But like they're, you can get them for like $60, $80. I'm like, hell no. I'll just get like crappy ones but are, that are okay for like 20 bucks. I had a big lunch though. <laughs> I have to like go on a I don't want <laughs> You just watch it I on know. YouTube. It's not Kuwait that was the problem. I was boring in Kuwait. Sup, Marie? How's it going? Welcome. I'm not, I wasn't physically well. Smash that like button. Enough. Because of all the health issues I incurred on myself. Or else I could have done a lot more. I know what my tonight is. Two really bucks sad. for yours. Yep. I know. Yeah, maybe I'll check out um Walmart then. I still have enough time. It's in another six days. Oh. Susie, I'm still I'm looking for a place now. Smooth and moves. Decorating my new place. I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> Honestly, first thing, I'm just going to order a bed and have like a really nice bed and just bed rot when I'm at home. Because I don't need all kinds of furniture. I just need a bed and a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> Happy early birthday, Marie. Hopefully, you have a great one. They're at the pharmacy. Oh, let's get those things. Okay, I'll check that out. Uh, better than paying twenty dollars for one. Like I said, that twenty bucks was the cheapest I could see on Amazon. Hey, Ghostface. <laughs> exactly, Rosemary's. <clears throat> How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm going to go back there. Nothing beats eating alone in a car because you don't want nobody to know where you are. Especially in Cornwall. You know what? She needs There's to bring pizza. Beach bun comes on at five. She can tell you about the plane crash with the gleam in her eye. It's interesting when people die. They love dirty laundry. Thanks, Edna. I appreciate you. Kick them when they're up. Kick them when they're down. Tell everybody I'm still working on my coin, you know, battling away at a lot of things. Hi, MJ. I'm planning on staying in Canada. Here we go again. Yes, he fits. Happy belated. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, babe. They really forgot my chicken tenders. <laughs> the chicky stew. Is she divorced? Uh, I wouldn't say so, since Salah is in the chat. Hey, Meep. I would think everything is more or less okay at home. 
I know it's dark, but my lights uh, in here suck. Other than what people say. <laughs> Maui. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue. While you're going through a separation, hang in there. Don Henley. I make my living off the evening news. Just give me something, something I can use. People love it when you lose. They love. Hey, Carolyn, what's up? Is this for a visa run? Uh, I'm not actually sure. She's suggesting that she's going to stay in Canada for an extended period of time. But she said that the last time as well, that she's going to be in Canada for a, a long time, a couple months at least, maybe a year or two. And then she left. So with this, the last time she was in Canada was uh, in around December, right? Christmas. Uh, or did she come right after Christmas? I can't remember. But then she left because of the whole K Bella, or should I say Kai Bella situation with uh, with Salah, and then now she is back again. Dirty laundry, isn't that so true? <laughs> Howie, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. Trust me. Has she said anything of note? Uh, she's going to get Sam back is what I heard happen in the stream before this. And, you know, she's looking for a place in Canada. Like the whole Sam situation, I'd say leave Sam alone. Because every right now, no matter what she does, she's going to leave an animal behind. If she stays in Kuwait, she's leaving Sam behind if she gets Sam back. If she stays in Canada, she leaves Harry and Julia behind. So what's going to happen? This is so good. I can't stop eating. I want to get healthy. <laughs> the gravy ball. Do you know how easy it is to say that while you're eating something delicious? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get <laughs> This will satisfy me for life. I'm not going to eat any more junk. <laughs> Babe. Yeah. Hey, what's, Wabi? what's up? How's Julia? How'd your staining go? Good and Howie. Hopefully good. What? Oh, Cheryl. I got pot pie, fries, gravy. And chicken tenders, but they forgot them. So I'm going back. And be like, what the heck, man? Can't you drum? It's more complicated for him to come here than me to go there, but. She eats for every motion. So true. Very true. I don't know. 100%. I miss my family there. <laughs> oh. Nice. Awesome. A lot. I'm glad the staining went well because some people, even though it should be a simplistic process, well, actually, it really depends on what tools you have. If you don't buy your tools too cheap, it should be okay. I've seen people buy their tools way too cheap, then it falls apart because you got to be very specific with kind of what kind of roller you use if you're rolling. Um, and then whether you're using a paintbrush for like, you know, your tight corners and whatnot. You know what it feels like? That I've moved on from my life here. Now I'm like, it's not the same as before. Yeah, that's true as well. You got to do your prep properly. And you you got to have control of your, your environment, your area. But that's great that it came out well. I'm happy for you. I don't know. I'm just sad. So cheer me up. I'm just joking. <laughs> The heat is bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm eating St. Hubert's teardrop. Coleslaw, fries and gravy, and chicken pot pie. Why come back? I feel torn between both worlds. I wish I could live in both when I feel like it, you know? I thought I knew what love was. 
what did I know? Those days are gone forever. I should just let them go. But I love Don Henley. As you can see. Who else does? Hmm? Is anybody else getting random military stuff in their TikTok feeds? I get like stuff about the whole carbon tax here in Canada because it's 30 yesterday. So a lot of people are really pissed off. Hi, Danny. A lot of protests happening. The sun is setting. I don't watch Bridgerton. I didn't like it. I tried. Anyways, guys. Sorry, I'm like literally picking out. Thanks, Teardrop. It's one of the best places around. There's St. Hubert's and Audubon Gatineau, Cornwall. There's one everywhere, but it's like a Canadian chain. Thanks for its charts. Hey, Goddess Quana, what's up? Babe, do you miss me? Do you ever feel like you need extra reassurance sometimes? Hi, Melly. Chicken pot pie. In my car. This is sad. Did you hear about Miss Hussey? Why am I tonight? No, what happened? And I'm not going to say Zoe. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'll stink out your car. Yeah, I feel like a pig right now. <laughs> Suing for 300k? You really think that? Well... I don't know anymore. <laughs> is that the actual genuine amount that he's going for? Because I don't know anything about that whole side. I, I'm trying to stay away from the, the hussy situation. I just know the basics that him and Gigi are is suing. I really don't know. I have an opinion. On that's it. Him, Gigi are suing. That's it. <laughs> but to demand 300k. He was being too indecisive all the time. Thank you, Yeti. <laughs> I hate it so much. <sighs> Sam and Julia babies. How is the hussy situation getting bad? <clears throat> Sam has no balls. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? No. Being indecisive is not good for you. Oh, okay. Getcha. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there were a lot of people who liked Hussey when he was, uh, was it Glory Gloria? Or, you know, Miss Glory Glory, something like that. What was the name again? I forgot. And, and then it just started getting really bad. Like, some people just can't get away from the fighting. Oh my god, there's too much good food here. And then comes with the fighting, comes the lion. <gasps> Bad taste in people's mouth. And the constant You're argument. Really Muslim and Sam, isn't it? <laughs> Can't wait for Sam. No. Honestly, I was like... I needed that break. Like, that was a godsend. That was divine intervention, okay? I'm not kidding. I was getting really involved in the talk. I was getting becoming really toxic. And I was like, you know what? I can focus on moving. I can focus on anything else. I'm not divorced. I never got divorced. Yeah, when did I get divorced? Who's saying she got divorced? I guess rumors I'm do in my fly. Car, drinking gravy in the dark. Yeah, that's a different thing I know. See what I do without you, babe. I know him. Warmers do indeed fly, people. What orangutan? Why did I leave in the middle of Ramadan? Why not? <laughs> I 
Should I get on a Zempic? Maybe it'll make your diagnosis easier. Thanks, Sophie. I have to talk to a doctor. Thank you. Yeah, corn chowder. Yeah, she did leave in the middle of Ramadan. I seem happier. I wonder why. I well, got her suspended. Some uh, Somebody was saying the live stream where she went off and somebody got her suspended. I guess a lot of people really um, reported it. Jessica. It's so weird. Like, I understand people being happy that I'm here, but, like, it's like people really are happy. Like, they want me to live, like, I don't know. I just feel sad all of a sudden. I feel homesick for Kuwait. I miss sleeping with someone. <laughs> Hi, Nadia. I'm so I'm the worst person. Drinking gravy is healthy. No. Yo, I watched a really nasty movie. It was called The Green Inferno. Yeah. Well, I never did anything in Kuwait. That's why it was boring. I'm sure, I could have made it interesting. Yeah, I have no lights in here. Hi, Nadia. They want you to bash the law. That's what they want. No, it's not going to happen. I love him. He's my husband. He's an amazing man. He's not perfect. Sure. <laughs> but amazing nonetheless. Would it be weird if Sala I already has somebody on the go right now to replace Foodie Beauty? As soon as he touched down, he is like K Bella, or should I say Kai Bella number two is already on their way to Kuwait. Like got some beige yeah. couches for you. K Bella number two. Got a nice cherry tea to drive you in. <laughs> Shad what? Hi. Hi, everybody. They're going to go to the same places. They're going to go to um, al Kut Mall. I'm so mad about my tenders. We've got, you know, a Thanks. nice AC Oceanside apartment. We'll get the tenders. <laughs> it's scary out here right now, man. Like, you guys can't see me. This is BS. I should just come back when the setup's better. Oh, man. This reminds me of so, like, 2021. Day in Canada. 2021, the Natter Days. It's actually coming up to three years since we were first introduced to Nads. It's been over, uh, it's been two years and one day ever since Nads did the the prank, the April Fool's prank that started the end of Dee Dee's amazing job that she had, which was making really good money. I still can't understand why would you give up a job that you're making 70 or 80k a year at? Do you follow any Cobra? Of course, Caroline. I do follow uh, King Cobra and Queen Cobra. I just, I just can't do Queen Cobra's schedule. The middle of the night stuff is way too much for me. You guys are only... <gasps> I can't do it. Like, being up at 2 a.m. when My you got... Dead now. I'm stranded here. When you got other stuff to do is way too much. Where'd the mod change the settings? Sorry, let me. <laughs> hmm. Desert Rose, have... David. Turn my car on. <clears throat> there we go. Why is my light? This light is burned out. Oh. Almost did. Hi, Lola. But her internet is. Wait a second. How the hell did she get internet so fast? Did she? Did she still have her Canadian phone plan on? Or what's going on? Did she get a new phone plan? Because I got to wonder about that. I think she's still paying for a phone plan because she's locked in, right? 
she should still be locked in. It's the only light that works in here. Yeah, that makes actually sense because she got a new phone for NADS. And we have uh, two-year max plans. She could possibly still be locked in. Yeah, yeah. When oh, I say I locked in, I mean under contract still. So she either pays for it per month. Her battery is dying. She did have a battery problem before. I everything. I'm like, right. But I do think she probably replaced her battery. I actually had to replace my battery. I got my battery at Canadian Tire. I installed it myself because I know to do those things. Mm. Pixelated bees? Where's the... No! Okay. Cheers. Excellent party, isn't it? No name, you gifted 10 members? Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Welcome to all the new members. Ready, set, me. Wonder if one of the family members uses the phone when she's not. Wouldn't that be kind of weird? <laughs> thank you, no name. <laughs> I can't find my fork. <sighs> Why are you guys watching me? I'm such a mess. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, no name. Desert Rose, I saw your super chat, right? Yeah. Hey, Angela. Happy late birthday. Thank you, guys. SCP. The box scratcher is gone. Anyways, guys. Hey, babes. I know, guys. Want to have a place? We can do what we want. But I miss you when you're gone. Ruby. Thanks, Liz. It does feel good to drive it. There's somebody. What if they catch me drinking gravy? That's embarrassing. All right, so Soul says, Monty, how long can Canadians leave and keep healthcare? I think it's a couple months, but in in reality and practice, um, you you can keep your healthcare as long as people one don't write on you and or the government doesn't notice, because Auntie Rasta was out of the country for an extended period of time. She came back due to health concerns, and she still got her healthcare. So with that said, on paper it's a couple of months, but in practice. People don't get caught, so they keep it, and they're out of the country a year, two years, three years, four. And uh, if you have the green health cards, you get to renew them every couple of years. Typically, when you renew your driver's license is how they set it up these days. But if you have those white ones with the red, those don't expire. So a lot of people have been hanging on those ones. But what people used to do since they don't have picture uh, a picture on those like people in their family would use each other's health cards. So it was really bad. So bad. So a lot, the government's been trying to have people change, change those over. Must be the season of the witch. Madonna bees. <laughs> Gravy bees in, gravy bees in. <laughs> yes. 
You're here to be Zmans. Are you going to be seeing the eclipse? Where are you going to go for the eclipse? I think uh, the eclipse will be like south of you. So there's a I don't few know why spots. I thought I was like super miserable there. I wasn't super miserable. Like, I can't explain it. There's things I miss about both places. So, yeah, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, you know. When's the eclipse? Good night, No Name. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the memberships and everything. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. I don't play Zelda. I seemed bored. Yeah, I mean, that's my fault, you know. But the summer there, I can't really do much. Yeah, it's April 8th is when the eclipse is. Do we know what time? You got to check uh, the path. It's a very specific path. I think yours would be like uh, if you go to like Leamington or um, Port Dover, you would be able to see it. I think it will be around like two something, like late two something to three something EDT for your time. I think also um, Run Rondeur Park would be good as well for the path. So, yeah, you would have to go to, like, uh, a Shrewsbury area, Erie Beach, Rondeau Park, for you to, like, see the eclipse. Because it's going to be very south, really south. It just feels weird to me, like, for the past year and a half. Cool, Carolyn. I'm glad. I was always sleeping. Like, I always had, like, I had my family there in, like, Kuwait and, like, you know, have my routine, have my spot on the bed where I always lay, like, a seal. Hey, imagine being broke, but you can afford the expensive trip to Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is expensive. I didn't go out in the winter either, no. Yeah, for sure. For sure, months. Drive oh, nice, Deb. I got St. Hubert's and I wish I didn't. Thank you. I, I love Pennington's here. <laughs> Every time I go to Kuwait, I miss Pennington. Just stay in Canada for the summer months. What the hell does she miss about Pennington's? And it's like, <clears throat> if I live in Kuwait, I'm without Sam. If I live in Canada, I'm without Julia. That's just weird. And I'm without Salah. Like, it's just weird for me. Show Pete some attention in Super Chats and he will spill. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he will. No, I'm, I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Like, I can't change everything. I'm already very deep into this. <laughs> I miss my husband and my cat and my owie, maybe. I'm kidding. Sorry to have pets. I'm traveling now. Singing a lullaby. <sighs> Miss you more. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. She misses the grandma clothes. Yeah, true, Joey. I try, you know. Yikes. I don't know, Cynthia. It's gonna be hard, yeah, at first, yeah. <laughs> Roots. Nostrils. <laughs> I think I'm safe here. She has her new diabetic specs on. Don't say that. Why are people trying to, like, you know, dictate if I should be married or not? It's my life to live, you know? I don't know. It's normal to miss the, my husband. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my life is so, like, back and forth. I know it's hard to follow, but, like, anyway. It does cause conflict in my heart a lot. Sure, it does. And now I'm depressed and I just want to sleep. Or go for a long drive. And just think about stuff. I can't wait to see your new place. All 
or has been who will cheat again. Aww. I don't know what to think about that. Did you hear my stomach? I gotta go get my missing tenders. I'm not going, I'm not gonna go in there and be like, I'm missing my tenders. I don't even know if I have my receipt. Oh yeah, I do. Do they charge me for it? Let's find out. This time he'll pick an unbeezer. I wonder, I wonder what will become of the whole Sala thing. If I could peer into a year or two from now, will they still be together? Will he be with somebody else? Will the gig be up? Is he with other people? I have no idea. Sometimes it does come into my head. Maybe, maybe it is genuine love. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's convenience until he gets here, then something will happen. Who knows? What did you put on? I guess I'm, like, I'm not going to say how they were. I'm not sure where I'm living. Two Nashville fillets. And I can't go back there now because the box and everything. I'm finished eating. <laughs> everything fell on the ground. They didn't give it to me, though. Maybe they know this and I can go back. I don't think I'm going to go back. No, forget it. I'm going to go back. He's the one that gets the divorce. Well. Once Silla yes. gets here and has a taste of freedom, he'll cut all ties. Yeah, has anyone known anybody that's actually gone through that? I know it's a thing. I know it's cold. I know it's harsh. But there are people who actually do go through that stuff. They bring somebody here. Then as soon as that person gets their papers, they're just gone. Like, I, I couldn't be that cold to trick somebody for that long. That is some harsh, cold thing to do. I couldn't. You don't finish my meal. Me? Depends on the meal, yeah. Support her or don't, but she ain't doing anything wrong. So I can't go to Canada for now unless uh, he gets a visa, which is extremely hard to do. Um, Because there are certain things you got to health check. You got to have money in the bank. Uh, she can apply for him, though, which you think she would have started since. How long has she been in Kuwait? She left and she showed up there. Like November 1st, last 2nd, 2022. That's a long time ago. That's 2022. In another couple of months, we're going to be in November again. So practically what? Almost a year and a half ago, she could have easily uh, almost completed his application to be in Canada. As long as she had the support of her parents. Because once again, the money thing. And having money in a, in a bank account to show that he won't be a burden to the economy, to the Canadian government. Well, I mean, in essence, yeah, no, I'm not really hurting anyone. But, well, no, that's not true. Yikes, man, that really sucks. So one day he came home and she was gone. That is so harsh. I could never. Hey, Black's Chaos. Good luck. Have a good night. Thanks, Trixie. Thanks, Aisha. 90 Day Fiance shows it all the time. But yeah, but like reality hits, you know, so much harsher. I don't know what, like, I, what do you mean be myself? I don't know. I feel like I've just changed like too much to be, to try to be how I was, you know. What? What? Yeah. Oh boy, now he's seen somebody in Portugal. I guess he really didn't learn his lesson. I don't know what's wrong. But then again, to be honest with you, the dating market in uh, North America isn't that great. If I'm truly going to be honest. Yeah, dating is a nightmare and a minefield these days where people, you know, look at social media and look at other people's lifestyles and they get enthralled. With, you know, how other people are doing and what they're saying. But that isn't really reflective of reality. Not every not everybody can be on yachts 
and cruise ships every day. You know, there's people who got to work so that our economy keeps running. That doesn't necessarily mean if you don't plan properly that you can't make it in life. I think proper planning and level head can get you a lot of places in life. You just got to do it. And that's the problem. Not a lot of people want to do it. That's the huge problem these days. People want it fast and easy. They don't want it hard. And if it no, gets hard. Really it's just hard getting used to not living with your husband every day. Like as husband and wife, like being a. What is up with YouTube these days? I guess it's still doing the same thing it was doing before. Maybe I'll switch this to like 360 or something. She she is uh, offline right now. I'm just going to wrap this up in the next couple of minutes. Oh, boy. Don't tell me. Part, you know. What's up, Blue Eyes? Yeah. Leoni, what's going on? It's not all I did in Kuwait. When I was well, we went a lot of places. Mostly on the couple's channel, but... I haven't been well in a long time, and I've been just listening. Yeah, that couple's channel is dead. To negativity, that's why. I would rage is not healthy. I shouldn't do that. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, maybe I'm just still recovering from a free flight. Oh, why? Why do you have to be across the world? Why? Why do you and Julia and Howie have to be across the world? I need to be positive. Yeah, okay. I know, I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying, trying, trying. I really don't think she's struggling. There's nothing wrong with you. Well, that's yes. just me. No, I'm not going back to Kuwait. Jet lag, yeah. Let's work on getting him here. Yeah. I know, I always flip flop. I always flip flop. Did they break up? Nope, he's still in the chat. The same, like when I did before I moved. There's something we different and weird. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, dating apps these days are getting really dangerous, especially if you're trying to date in certain countries. Um, you got to be super aware right now because certain places, certain countries, you will end up on alive with the quickness. If you try dating apps, it's such a scary world out there these days. Thanks, Mercy Me. Thanks, Lynn. What's up, Cypher? Candy Crush. I never played that before. Okay, guys. Maybe I just need a bit of a longer break. Yeah, it could oh, still be a visa yeah. run. No, you can't expect to be happy every minute. I'm just not like, before I came here, I was so sure. I was so sure I wanted to move back here. And now that I'm gone, I feel so sick. Like I felt like, like. Yo, she's always like this. Ah, always the same thing. All when right. I went to the airport, like the pain in my heart, and like, like saying goodbye to Julia. Now it's just hard, you know. So. Well, be safe, live in anyway, life. I'm just, I'm so because I wish I, I don't know. It's like, that's what I mean. I feel torn. <sighs> this is not what I expected to happen right now. It's not the same. It's not just getting him here. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just, I can't talk about it because I don't know how I feel. It's weird. Anyway. I'll you in the, you in Northern Kentucky live in life? I'll be okay. I'm just going through like a hard time. <sighs> okay.
What? McDonald's has burgers now with beef and chicken patties on it? Yeah, nobody tell her. Uh, she's going to freak out. Yeah. You don't have to figure out can I uh... <laughs> Carolina, yeah, thank you. I don't know how to make people understand how I feel when I'm not even sure myself, you know? It's like, what's wrong with me? I don't know. Yeah. Calm down. Calm, yeah, but not from the... It's the... It's not like that. It's just like... I don't know what it is. It's like, like I said, I'm just torn. I can't explain it. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> True, Carolina. Anyways, guys. I don't know what else to say. I want to talk about something else. Doesn't have to be a bad thing. I know. Hey, my chicken. What's up, Wig? Thanks, What's going on? Appreciate it. Thanks, Sister P. That puppet. I want more pot pie. No, I'm full. Ish. Oh, am I going shopping? I don't know yet. I got some Pennington's things I can model for you guys, maybe. Maybe tomorrow. What? Yeah, I'm in Canada. So her first day, okay, presumably her first day back, she got Pennington's and she's going to model Pennington's for people tomorrow. Then not return them. I think that's a complete waste of money. Oh. Why would you do that? I forgot my Nashies. Yes, Desert Rose. She needs to save all that money to uh get a lawyer and fill her application out for her hobby to go to Canada. See, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Coffee beans tomorrow. Yeah. You're right. I should go get some sleep. Yeah, get those. Get some sleep. Do your thing, foodie. Yeah, she's tired. I wonder when she came back. I don't, I don't feel like sleepy. I just feel down a bit. That's all. Yeah. Kina Bear, that's sweet of you to say. To offer. You want to play Scrabble and Monopoly? See, if you don't want to talk to your dog. Yeah, Millie, I know. Just blast your favorite music and out of your mind, yeah. Okay. So true, onion rings. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, okay? She could have easily invested all that Pennington's money into crypto. I'll um, go live again. I don't know when. Maybe for tomorrow. How oh, can she model? Thanks, Jerry. I got a ring for you. Oh, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, they crystal do anything, Barbie. Good night, guys. Crystal Bye. station. Love you guys. Thanks for listening to me. Nope. Nothing from Crystal. All right. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I guess I will do the um I don't know. I think I think I might call it a night. If anything comes up, I guess I'll be back. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, actually, let's, let's do the one before it's foodie beauty is live. Let's just do the one before a 1.25 exit. It really isn't that long, so I might as well do it. Uh, let me go to here and here F11. Everything is good. All right. So this is the first one. Amy, Shelly, Madonna, Miriam. Yeah. This SMB. is the one before. Laura. Blumpy. Hello. Where is everyone? I guess people forgot about me. <laughs> uh oh. I might have to move. I don't know if this is private property or not. I'm kind of confused. Like, um, 
Okay, so I'm in this little driveway. Probably mesh. And then there's a fence that says no trespassing. So does that mean no trespassing before the fence or after? Hi. Oh my gosh, it's too fast. Hi, everyone. I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed. So, and I have to let a little chin free. I can't, I feel claustrophobic. <sighs> Hi. I don't even know where to start. Like I'm gone seven days and my, or eight days or however many days. And my life has like changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, when something happens in my life, I'm like, I have to tell them this. Like being away made me realize like you guys are my support system. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Lamb. Hello, everybody. I need to let a little bit of my gen out. Well, yeah, I'm in the Kia. No, so I'll let me take the, it doesn't, does the Kia look like, no, it's not white. Hi. Hi, everybody. I missed so many people to say hi, so I'm just going to say a collective hi. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'll just go over this to see what she's saying, and we'll all be up to date. Some of you might as watch this because I think a lot of people jumped in this ASAP, so I'm kind of late. I am literally jet lagged. I know people laugh and use that as like a, a euphemism for being high. No. Holy crap, that's creepy. I'm just like literally so tired, and my body is so battered from this trip. I am going nuts. <sighs> yeah, have new glasses. So, you know, I did the prescription, right? Like I went to the eye doctor last time I was in Canada, but then I left without getting glasses. They're super expensive here. So before I left, so I was like, give me your prescription for your glasses. I'm going to go and get you glasses. And I was like, no, we don't need, thanks everybody <laughs> for the birthday wishes and everything. Welcome. I'm like, we, you know, we don't, that's not a priority. <laughs> and even though I'm driving, yeah, I've got, it's much better. Right? I'm like, why haven't I gotten these sooner? So he went and got glasses for me before I headed out and I'm glad he did. They're still pricey over there, though. Oh, good for her. Hi, guys! I... New glasses and everything. I think she was. She had like her glasses from like multiple years ago. She was still using. Just uh, this, the key is all set. It got has new brakes. Has like two thousand dollars worth of work on this baby. I feel like I'm in a new car. I love this Kia. Let's never fight. Anyways, all right. So, hi! I missed all you guys. Sorry, I missed like all oh, everybody. Hey, Mary and Maxi. Hey, how are you doing? Brittany, everyone, I missed all the Beezers. Did I miss it? everyone who was in? Sorry. Hello. I missed you guys. Um, thank you. You happy belated. Um, no name. Happy belated. <laughs> thank you. No name. All right. The more she talks about the, the $2,000 worth of the, on the Kia, the more I think maybe Auntie Rasta is using her car whenever she's not there. Auntie Rasta might put in a little bit of work into the car. She gets to use it. Maybe pay the insurance in full or maybe go half on the insurance and they both use the car. It kind of does make sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you. We're jumping right in there. Thanks. I look cute. No, I don't feel it. Hi. Okay. Um, I have so much to talk about. House bees. Actually, I know. Okay, so am I in a private spot? All right. You were so worried. Well, let me tell you what happened. Whoa, what is up with the streams? Come so, on. Come on. Thank YouTube. you guys. Everybody, who did I miss? I missed a lot of, I think I missed some beezers here. My nose is dry. Hi. Thanks, guys. For, uh, it's going so fast. Joey, um, ghost face. Uh, I get nervous. Like, is this your property? People driving by? Anyway, they come and say, you know, yeah, this is a new dress. Like, the minute I decided to come back to Canada, I was like, I'm going on Penningtons.com. All right, let's get some clothes because, like, I need Canada clothes, you know? So, this is like a dress, but it's so cool. It's going to be nice and cool. Cassidy, Are happy belated serious? birthday, Miss Tears Thank you so much, Cassidy. That's so sweet of you. I thought that was, you know, when you, you do laundry on laundry day and you have no other clothes to wear. This is what this dress reminds me of. Like, it's clothes that you would never get caught wearing out, but you only wear it because you don't have any other clothes to wear. Like, why would you go on Pennington's and then buy buy this of all things? Are you kidding me? It's not. It's not like she has an abundance of clothes, right? How much clothes does she have? Heather Golden Girl. Hi, oh, thank you. Comic Brook Flowers Bonnie. Hi, Comic Brook. Boo boo. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys all the new clothes. You know it. I'm going to wear them obsessively. For Anyways, okay. So I got a strike on my channel. And uh, at first I was like, what the F? You know, I was like pissed off. I was like, I have a strike on my... Rosemary! Hi, Marbles. Kayla! Trixie! Loyalty Beezer, thank you! Ready to start reading these! <laughs> okay.
Okay, sorry, I have to concentrate. Sorry. Hi, Carolina. Never have I ever. Paul Freed, everybody, normally Mimi, Shelly, I know. Okay, listen. <laughs> so basically, um, and I was like, what? what? You know? But then, like, I saw, like, the post that I made. Like, I deleted it, but it's about the, po it was for the post that, thanks, mistress, Georgia girl, that I made about that Kalani lady. So at first I was mad, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter, like, because I was responding to, I was triggered, as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because I saw parts of a video on Yo Mama's live stream about her, and she was, like, you know, calling me heifer, and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that, you know, that YouTube doesn't, you know, keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that. Mm -hmm. But what I said was really nasty. So, you know what? I'm like, fine. I, what I did was wrong. I'll take the hit. I'll take the L. And you know what? I think it's a sign from God or from whatever the universe, whatever you want to believe that I needed that break. Like this break has been amazing for me. And I know that's going to annoy you sure. and it's going to make people mad, but it was so amazing. But yeah, I just want to sit and chat here for a while. You thought I fell into the drain. So anyways, basically the, the, the break was awesome, you know? So yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? I was nasty. Like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. I'm like, I'm the, my point is, like, I need to just ignore these people and really just bees. Focus on beesing, focus on, and I missed you guys so much. Like, you guys are my support system. I realize that in a lot of ways. Like, I have to just try to make it in a healthy, in a healthy way. Like, um, so yeah, I have to be positive because you know what? YouTube is a popularity contest. A lot of people don't like me. So any little way they can, obviously they're going to report me, right? Especially if I do something that um, goes against terms of service. And if I get caught, that's... Like, is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little, like, people who are saying, like, that I'm a pig, you know? Like, no, I needed to check my behavior. It's, Seriously? like, ruining my mental health, everything. So, basically, this this break was amazing. And I made a very big decision to um, move back to, to Canada. And, honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not, you know what? I wouldn't. This journey, <laughs> let me tell you this, one of the stories, okay? I love how she uh, she's turning this into a positive, you know, spinning it like this. But, you know, that really did hurt her pockets. Because, you know, if you're gone for a whole entire week, that's 25% of possible income you're now literally out of. So if you're making four grand a month, the most you can make now is like three grand a month unless she like doubles or triples up her content. I want to tell you one of the stories of the horrors of being on the plane. This for time. sure. All right. So normally, sorry, I'm just getting this out and I'll talk Spin to you. Spin it however she wants. Want to, but I normally fly with Qatar Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but there's a reason. All right. This time I decided, you know what? Hey, if I go with Qatar or Emirates, I'm on the plane for 13 hours straight because the transfer is only an hour of flight in Qatar. Flight to Qatar, then 13 hours, Canada, Montreal. But if I try a different route where Lufthansa, which is a German airline, I booked, I, I, so I, I went from Kuwait to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. Then I had an almost three hour layover in Frankfurt. And then I had to, hi guys, <laughs> um, not flare, <laughs> Air Canada, but they were both Airbus A330s, which, you know, they're not the Boeing Max. <laughs> I was just happy about that. So then um, basically I thought, okay, I'm going to break it in half. It's not as bad. My body won't be as bad. Or, oh, I didn't like Lufthansa. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible. Okay. But, like, I found the staff was not that friendly. They were more snappy. Um, <laughs> the food was... Okay, here's the food, okay? You know what? So on the... My flight was, you know, pretty long, especially when I had a layover. And um, typically, I remember the days of flying back in, like, in the 90s. They would feed you... They would feed you three meals. Like, you would have, like, a snack right away. Uh, and then you'd have like a dinner and then another snack, like, you know, they give you the peanuts with like a drink. I still remember that like a couple years ago, but there's no way in hell they're giving you those these days, unless you're really paying for it. And you're like double, triple, quadruple paying for it. The first flight, they gave me, they give you a sandwich. It's like this long. Okay. Nikki, move back permanently. Sell off, sell off following you. Okay. Hi, Lily, Lily. I'll tell you guys in just one second. Okay. And then I'll check the comments. I have to get this out. <laughs> so, yeah, guitar is super nice. Um, basically, um, what was I gonna say? They give you a sandwich, and it's their vegetarian sandwich, a vegetarian sandwich. And so I'm like, okay, like literally, that's how the attendant talked. A vegetarian sandwich. So I took it, and um, 
it had cream cheese, okay? The cream cheese, I don't know, mess with my gut. So that's digesting. By the time I get to the second leg of my, you know, the Air Canada, I'm like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Please don't let anyone sit beside me. And, uh, and I, like, I was literally praying, like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. AKA she had the bubble guts. She had the shits. She had the runs and she had to uh, stank up the washroom. Beside me a lot, please. Well, this guy comes bouncing down the, wa- the, the, the walkway, sits right beside me. Bubble and guts. he's listening to super loud music, like dance hall music. I don't know if you know what dance hall is. I'm so sure someone is. Anyway, I know what dance down, hall. And okay, whatever. I, I slept most of the flight. He ordered wine. You get like complimentary little bottles of wine on Air Canada. He ordered wine and he spilt red wine on my clothes twice. So I smelled like a bottle of booze. I have to let up some chin. Sorry. Okay, so. By the way, you guys don't have to delete messages. Just let people talk. But only like really hateful racist stuff. You know what I mean? Wait a second. So there was a guy on a German airline flying from outside of uh, Kuwait or Qatar going to... Where did she say she landed? And then from there, she went to Montreal. And then from Montreal, I guess she got picked up. I guess it could make sense. I mean, anybody anybody could could be listening to dance all, but okay. So, um, I'll get to. I have a lot to talk about, so I need to get it out. What was I gonna Who say? The hell was listening? So I'm not even really looking all. at the comments right now, so they can just go and talk if you want. I don't care. Yeah. All right. So, it, thank um, you. that's when the sandwich starts hurting my stomach, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gurgling. For some reason, the cream cheese or something in that sandwich gave me the ultimate gas. It was the probably the worst gas attack I ever had in my life. What is dancehall music? Dancehall music is like Beanie Man. It's it's like uh, it's like reggae, but it's like reggae dance music. The type of music you would play in a dancehall, aka that's why it's called dancehall music. So it's like reggae music, but reggae music specifically for dance. Because original reggae music is more like for vibes, for culture, for togetherness and whatnot. But when you put in dance hall into it, that that's a specific subgenre of reggae that you know certain people really really enjoy. <laughs> it's like reggae but naked. That's a very good euphemism. I like that right? big. And we're like the the captain was like, okay, we have twenty minutes left till landing because you know landing is a whole process. They got to go down, 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 down. So there's like a gaggle of geese having an orgy in the background, and I'm freaking out. Listen, yep. Anyways, and I'm like, okay, I can hold it because I'm not about to go. Because you know when you're landing, they say, okay, the lock, the the bathrooms are going to be locked. So. All right. I- so dancehall music artists would be like Mr. Vegas, Elephant Man, Bujubantan, Spice, Shanapal, Vibes Cartel, Pop Can, Beanie Man, Alkaline. Who else? Uh, Busy Signal, Coffee, Lady Sa, Mavado, Stagi. Okay, Kiapotan. Okay, old school Kiapotan. Idonia or Idonia. I think it's Idonia though. Bounty killer, yellow man. I also think Red Rat, Tagaman, you know, Sizzla, Kalanji, you know, those types of guys. I couldn't go. I had to go. Like, I had to go number two. I had to go. Shaba, you know I mean? yes. And I, and I have no gallbladder. So I'm like, well, we'll wait for landing. So we land, and then you know how you have to wait to deplane? Okay. Chantal's Red Wing. I'm shook, Chantal. Any of you mad? Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, let me get this out. Sam broke up his life. We win, Chantal. Ha ha. We told you so. You told me what? I don't even get what. Is that? A, oh, that's a hate comment. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to delete that. I don't care what they say. Okay, listen. It takes forever to deplane. The, everyone's just standing there, like waiting for them to, to open the door. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to get to go. I'm like clenching hard. I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I go, go grab my luggage from the overhead bin. And the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down. Because- That's exactly the first thing I ask Cypher is, is saying Hubert halal? Because when I, let me check because I really don't know. I know Popeye's is, right? I think, yeah, Popeye's is. And so is, uh, what's the other chain that a lot of, um, uh, uh, a melting pot of anything related. Let me see. I got to check if St. Hubert is halal. I have no idea. Because immigration is coming on board. And I was like, what? No, no, they're going to like investigate people. Why do you have to hold up the whole plane to investigate one person trying to get into Canada? You know? And like, I'm like, oh no, I can't make it. I'm so sick from this sandwich. And like, oh my gosh. 
I couldn't hold it. I was like, I couldn't hold it. Like, I'm like, I can't. Anyway, somehow miraculously I did. They would check their passports. Like they checked. Yeah, for sure. Popeyes is halal. There's another chain that is halal. I'm gonna have to look it up though. Everyone's passports. So that's the story on that. So now being in Canada. Hi everybody, nice to see you. Sorry, I didn't look at the comments really. Um, I'm moving here. Um I can't stay on the summer in Kuwait. It's bad for my health. Um, I need free health care because even no matter what my visa status would be there, I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of make whatever you want of that. If you want to think that I have this visa, that visa doesn't matter. It's okay. Yeah, church's chicken is also halal. Um, so Popeyes and churches is halal. Fine, whatever. But it is expensive. <laughs> just say that, okay? So um, I'm not divorced. I'm still with Salah. I'm taking things day by day and letting, leaving, honestly, this, you know, you're going to think it's cringe, but I'm leaving it up to God. Like, I'm just going to control what I can control in my life and not worry so much. So like, yeah, I guess uh, if you, if a reminder, people, Ramadan is not over, it's over April the 9th. So with her drinking water when the sun is still up is a clear violation, right? Because if she was doing this when the sun, you know, when it was getting dark, I, I, I get it. I can understand. But as people have been saying, it's like cosplay for her. Like, look what she's doing now. I wonder if she addresses this. Because, like, honestly, when I'm dead, the anxiety, the, what I'm worried about won't matter. You know, I'll be like, <laughs> honestly, when you, I don't know. I just, I have to worry about myself. Nikki P. Browning, are you going to move in with Pete? I hope you have help. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. Like, I am definitely getting an apart. Like, I, I need to get my own setup here. So I need to set up everything, which means I have to, like, get everything from scratch, like, I'm not rich. Like I, we are okay. Like we do fine. Like we were able to like, you know, everything, fix the car, um, get me here, which was like crazy. Um, it was a cheaper though on those two flights, but I I'm never going to compromise. This. I can't, it's too, Air Canada is really good though. Air Canada. The only thing is they don't have personalized vents. I was almost dying. Um, you know what? I, I don't mind personalized vents. Actually, on plane, I'll rough it out, to be honest with you. Like, my flights with the layovers were pretty long when I when I did leave, but I refused to pay for overpriced meals. And wherever I was, they freaking had Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like, is Dunkin' Donuts really a proper meal? I am not going to be eating pastries as a proper meal. I'd rather wait the next couple of hours until I can actually properly eat <laughs> i'm also getting sam back what's up allison <laughs> like, i'm getting sam back when i get my place the foster lady um, wow you put in an offer on a home and it's been accepted congrats to you edna in this day and age in this um market that is crazy um uh what can i say well Congratulations to you. Congrats on being a home owner. Hopefully everything closes properly because, you know, there's still a chance. But, you know, I wish you well, all the positivity. Um, She's like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat. And he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Are you worried about celebrities? Thank you, Jessica. You know what? No, I'm not worried about, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I have my trust and renewed trust. I said I would do it, like trust, like. And, you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody, you know? Like, I can't waste that energy. Um, if I ever learn of something that's different, I'll deal with it. But I'm not going to, no, I'm going to focus on myself. Um, yeah, I just, there's a lot of things I, I miss, like, that I didn't think I would ever miss when I first moved to Kuwait. Oh and when God. I got here, I was like very patriotic. I was like, Canada. But a lot of people on the plane were looking out and they were like, you could tell they missed Canada. Like you get homesick. But I also now I miss Kuwait a lot, too, because when you're you ingrain yourself in a culture for a year and a half or however long I was there, it's like, you know, and my I miss Julia and Harry so bad. Like that's like no matter which country I'm in, I have heartbreak because I miss my cats here. What the what the hell? What what is she missing in Kuwait, though? She is not like she went out and enjoyed the scenery or she had friends, right? And then I miss Julia, like her little face and her fishy breath. Ooh. But Salah is a good cat dad. I don't want to leave him. Like he genuinely, genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving Julia. Hi, Squeaky. Yeah, Sergi. Hi, Brittany. Ghostface. Inshallah, he can come here. Yeah. 
No, I'm not here to renew my visa. He hated yeah, animals. That move. He used to have light. He used to. He was not an animal person. He was not raised with pets. He could care less about them before. He didn't hate them. Like, you know, he wouldn't hurt anything, but he fell in love with Julia. In love. Like, there's not he about about 15 times a day. I oh I can like, are you harassing the cat again? Because he grabs her and holds her and just kisses her for like five minutes straight. And she doesn't persist, but she you know how cats look whenever you hold them, they're like, Do you hear the geese? <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> Dispensary time for wheelchair bees. I can't blink it. Um, yes, of course I miss him <laughs> all the time. Yeah, no, Ramadan's not over. I didn't have to fast while I was traveling. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing that right now. Um, but yeah, what do you have questions about? Hey, creepy comfort and crime. Thank you. Oh yeah, I can like the comments. Welcome oh. back. You've been missed. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you guys. I think uh, creepy comfort and crime is Canadian. Yeah, they are. I see the CA dollars. They're five Canadian bucks. I did take a look at their channel. I mean, they're they're trying. It's me. It's kind of hard to get a placehold on YouTube these days unless you either have friends or you're doing something super niche and it works out for you, is all I'm saying. Nicolina, I did I let it go on the plane so bad I couldn't hold it. It was like the, like a machine gun with mixed with a tuba. <laughs> I'm religious, so I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture, okay? I'm Canadian, like, blood-wise, and we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because, um, you know, I know it would be frowned upon by most Muslim people. But for me, it's like, I don't know. It's like medicine for me. I feel like having, like, a night when I get home, like, whenever, you know, you, you do your whole day, be productive, and then later at night for a treat, like, to relax. It's like medicine. Look, it helps with, like, you know the CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is going to have a hole like this big inside it, you know? So, but I'm still Muslim. I still believe in, in God. And like, how can I, you know, how can I just automatically, uh, you know what? You can stop believing people switch all the time. People go. Thank you. Onyx. Appreciate you gifted one membership. That's awesome. Thank you. Go through. She's saying this while drinking water during the daytime. Okay, cool. I mean, struggle, you know, I think religion is something very personal, you know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, Brianna, glad you were okay. Was worried your mouth got you in trouble. Be safe and not talk to personal business online or speak ill of others. You're right. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. Nikki B. Knowing we like honesty, less hate when you're being real. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I know you guys are all happy because, like, this is the land of the bees. For the land of the bees. Oh, no, that's the American. The geese is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I was thinking as a celebration, let's go eat somewhere. But I'm going to come back live when I get there because <laughs> you know the rules. Rosemary, I look happier. But what you said was true. What did I say? Hi, Rebbe. Hi, everybody. Who did I miss? Rebbe, I get because of chronic. Bring on the wheelchairs. Yes. <laughs> that uh, it was plant one, right? Plant one is going to be uh, staked out from now on. <laughs> All the all the uh, MJ stores in Cornwall will be staked, and we're gonna have photos and videos of Foodie Beauty in Cornwall. You know, getting her herbs, her medicines. Pain, yeah, about that to me. It's like medicine, you know. Sushi, Jessica, you're you're you're. All Foodie Beauty needs now is to watch the Bob Marley movie. <laughs> Come out with her medicine. I and I shall I see. I. Chair has been blowing up, huh? Yeah, thanks, Golden Girl. Lolo, everybody, crab legs. Cheryl, Carol Chimes. Our home and bees in land. What did you say? Oh, Canada, our home and bees in land. True home of the bees. Imagine I'm getting King Beezer back, and I'll never leave him again. Pretty soon he'll be strumming on a new counter. I can't go back to Kuwait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe she will go on a medicinal journey. Maybe she will, Nisi. You never know. <laughs> with Uncle Phyllis, I, I, I get what you're you're doing there with the uncle instead of Auntie Phyllis. <laughs> Thank you, no name. Sham. Kuwait. Me. Look, I love Kuwait, and I do miss Salah like a lot. It's so hard 
being in a long distance marriage and for who, who knows how long, but this is like a sacrifice I have to make. And it'll be a true test of our relationship too, because you know, like that long of distance. No, we'll see, you know, and I, I'm here to like, also, I have to work on myself, but I need a plan. So on the 18th, I have like a, um, therapy session, but I'm like starting immediately because I have help from my family to like, you know, help me get in places and stuff. Oh, good for her. Um, can we go in the handbag? That's funny. Hold on, hold on. Can we go in the handbag? I missed <laughs> down under. <laughs> yeah, the handbag days were something, were they? Um, yeah, soon, sometime soon. Yeah, I guess, of course, I miss him and I don't want to shit talk him. Like, that's the only thing I ask. Let's just not talk about him. You can have your opinions, but just keep them to yourself. Like, you know, just he is my husband and you know, it's important for me, like a little bit of respect for that. Lolo, 34 months. <laughs> Girl, I knew it. Felt you were back. I'm glad you were taking care of you. Thank you. Ready to rebees. But we're just gonna be. Thank you so much, Lolo. We're gonna be. Um, yeah. Someday he can visit. But like for now, I'm just. I have to focus on me and you know beezing. <laughs> He's gonna take care of the pets. Don't worry about them. He's taking really good care of them. And I like talk to him every day. You know, on video to see. Okay, this is the pets situation. You know. Hi, Tracy. Yeah. Because uh, what do I miss about him? Everything. Like, just having that person there with you. Like, I feel lonely. I feel lonely and blue. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Hold on! I feel lonely and blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Without you, baby, without you. I can't... Oh, you know what I was listening to when I was putting my makeup on? I feel like I'm living out my car. Maybe I am. Ah! You know that song? I want my MTV. My nose hairs. And that's the way you do it. To play the guitar on the MTV. It's not the hip. Oh, that is. Oh, that is. not the hip. Oh, that is. Glasses are too small. Yeah, I'm dressing myself. I can't stand the summer there. Yeah, S Jam is back. S Jam got back a couple of days ago, and he renamed his channel. I mean, I have no issues with people renaming. It's called Average Bites and Reacts. I guess. Oh, he's live as well. How's he doing? So, yeah, he got back like eight days ago. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it. He's doing like King Cobra reactions and stuff. He's baking spaghetti. Why not? Um, Communities are changing. I would just be in all the time, you know. In the summer, it's worse. I'm going to be in. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. So glad you're not one with the sea. Nikki P, thanks, Nikki P. Yeah, it's normal to have time apart. Thanks, Millie. Please a pee. So, um, what was I going to say? Applebee's, Twisty Misty. Yes, we're going to do all those things. Just give me time. I want to go eat somewhere. Facts. facts Let's go facts, fix some facts. people at the DQ. How should we start the fight, Hexy? Thanks, Marvels. No, they don't have Nashies right now. I'm disappointed. Honky. <laughs> Haunted places, yes. I personally didn't like the Nashies. I did. It was it was bad. Harvey's. I got a bunch of things. Sheriff so Pennington's Harry. from Pennington's. <laughs> Cash up what? Yeah, um, orange tulip. So I have to go thrift shopping or something for all new house stuff. Dollar Tree has plates and things. <sighs> Yo, mom is stuck on a roller coaster. Agathon, what's up? Sam, Sam, Paneer. Hey, Tracy. How are you doing? Throw a handful of ice cream? No, I don't want to go to jail. Hi, Jenna. Thanks, Georgia girl. Do I have Cash App? I have PayPal. My PayPal for what? You guys are gonna um um. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Thank you. We have tornadoes. No way. <laughs> Said it help. Oh, house bees. St. Hubert's. I saw that St. Hubert's has Nashville chicken tenders. <gasps> you know what would be so good? A chicken pot pie from St. Hubert's with a side of Nashville chicken tenders. Matt Cook says, Communities change in Bali is doing cooking videos in between human trafficking and yelling at Breezy. Like, <laughs> and she's also yelling at your mama as well. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I can't believe she was even screaming in the chat like two or three days ago how she's going to be trafficking people. I'm like, really? I got the screenshots, by the way. 
We can and, dispensary bees whenever I get my own place. How, how the hell is Chantel going to decorate a new apartment? Like, is she going to try and get new furniture? Because furniture prices are so expensive these days. No way in hell. Yeah, way too expensive. Even even my place to like get the stuff I had to wait for sales and whatnot. It was hard. You know, I'm just driving around right now, so gonna be spinning on driving, my leg. So I want to be more clear headed. I'm so tired. Well, uh, like I have severe like I I slept like went to bed at eleven and woke up at six forty five a.m. Anyway, sorry about my TMI story about the plane, but it was like literally bad for me. And when we're in Frankfurt, my worst nightmare, my anxiety, the girl was like, okay, um, we have a situation. We have a full flight. Full, the horror, biggest horror words ever, full flight. So they were asking people to volunteer to check in their um, carry-on luggage because we might not find room. And I was like. Oh, really? They forced me to check in my carry-on luggage. Talking about it's got to be checked. How long uh, did she say how long she plans on being in Canada? She's suggesting that she's going to be here for a while. Whether or not that is the case, I don't know. Is she moving in with Pete? That would seem very logical, but I wouldn't trust her if I was Pete's. I literally would would not trust her because you never know. She might come, come up and leave you and then not pay her half of the rent. I don't want to put myself in that situation. And then the, the first plane, the guy I had to sit with was... A very tiny man. Like, he was not... I'm not making fun of people of size. Like, sm um, what do you, I don't know what you would say. You know, shorter people. I'm not making fun of them. But this guy, he wasn't, like, short, but he was really small. And he had a full beard. I don't know. Like, <laughs> anyway. um, He was like, can I sit here? And I was like... And I got mad. <laughs> I was like, yes, you may. Um, I'm just going to go check if there's any other seats available. <laughs> and there were none. So I had to sit beside him. But he was fine. The good thing about sitting beside someone very small when you're fat is they have more room that you can encroach on. <laughs> Get a wheelchair right. No more wheelchairs. Those are too much. Honestly. Time for poop game round two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I, I If it happens, it happens. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to worry my life about things. <laughs> Reginald, fill a deposit fund. You finally seem like yourself again. Missed you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, do you know how expensive it is to, like, start up again? So every little bit helps. Like, when your car breaks down, you have to move. And you have to travel internationally. And you have to buy things at the airport when you're traveling internationally. Like, a lot of fluids, which caught... Every time I would buy drinks at the airport, it was, like, 30 bucks. Yeah, no problem, Noni. Uh, my living in my Kia, yes. <clears throat> Set the chin free. That's why I'm doing a little bit of the chin. I can reveal a little bit of the chin. My car, like, it wasn't broke. It just had a lot of wear and tear. It had a lot of things wrong. Like, not a lot of things wrong with it, but it needed a lot of maintenance, like regular maintenance, because it was, especially the brakes, they were, like, close to 2,000. I'm not getting, it was, like, all, okay, if I called a regular mechanic who's known to be, like, fair price, blah, 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 because they always say the dealership's scamming you. Well, this guy wasn't much cheaper. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with the actual IKEA was it OEM parts or something like original Kia parts and they guarantee their work and sorry I need to clean I need, we need to clean the Kia man so yeah that was insane okay there we go she's talking about the Kia she had some work done on the Kia I cannot show my hair no wife leaves her husband if you love him yeah but I also love myself so I'm here to work on myself. Would be kind of scary if you buy a Cherry Tigo brand new and then months later you're doing work on it. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, that's our business, right? I don't. I can't pin my PayPal. Oh, you guys are sweet. You don't have to. But if you want to, my PayPal is. <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C. Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to. But you don't have to. But if you do, thank you. Okay, so it's C-S-A-R-A. Is that my PayPal? E is that my PayPal email? Yeah, C S A R A at no. Nope. You know what? Just look up Foodie Beauty. PayPal.me backslash Foodie Beauty. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Miss Linda. Welcome home. Ready for supporting the new wow. supporting the new villa glow up? Yeah, I want to have like a bed rot bees era. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Independent woman. That's the arc. Yeah. Docs. <laughs> Can't wait for the foodie videos. Yeah, I miss. Honestly, I do miss. Like my my content was. I don't know. My PayPal's my hot. Okay, my hotmail is C S A R A 
084 at hotmail.com. Yeah, C-S-A-R-A 084 at hotmail.com. Or paypal.me backslash fruity beauty. Or you can request a cameo and get your cameo now. Yeah. So I want to like, we have to Pennington's bees. We have to do all the beesing. Like in Kuwait, like I liked living in a different culture and I liked, um, I, don't, I, I like, like both places. So it's like really hard for me. I feel very conflicted. Like, and I feel like an identity crisis a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you saw on Twitter that Ella has the exact same car as Sala and Chantel, complete with plastic on the mirrors. Okay, that makes sense. The green wig. Well, for a million. Yeah, Jack. Hi, Don. Welcome. <laughs> the green wig. They could possibly, you never know. Speaking of Ella Shabib, I haven't even kept up with Ella Shabib in a while. Wait, is the saddest? Like, why was it depressing for you guys? Just because you guys are used to me having such an outgoing personality to being completely muted or what? That's what it was, right? Hi, Georgia girl. So that's good. No, I have not seen the new documentary on me. That was not me. Well, I think a lot of it is cultural. I don't think it's like hot on to laugh at farts, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Have you seen sad? No, I was like happy there, but like, yeah. I feel like I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free and eat chicken pot pie with some nashies. No, I have to get healthy. But first, I need to, like, have a celebration. <laughs> Admit it. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. That was depressing. I miss driving. Like, I love. I was driving down the, the long road singing, I can see, see you. <laughs> the Boys of Summer song. I'm, I don't have any plans to go back to Kuwait. I don't have a return ticket. I'm getting a place here. Down under, thank you for joining me. We're, we're, we're wow. So we need a Beezer army again so we can go marching into the bees. No return ticket, okay. All right, so Foodie Beauty is back. I tried my best. Thank you, Joey. Back in Canada. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe SUP someday. I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day now. What else can I say? I guess her health is really getting worse. If I'm really going to have to boil this down, what reason would she want to be away from her guy that she wants to covet and keep, you know, all the women away from? The only logical reason is that she's having some serious health issues. That's the only thing I can think of why she'd come back. Nothing else. Oh, widow too young. Kiana, like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab, no, I can't, I'm not doing that. I want to come up with different hijab styles. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like a more Western hijab style. And when I'm over there, I dress in abayas and hijabs, like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> a bees means, yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't, I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. I was so hungry because I was like, after, I didn't eat like anything on the plane, Air Canada, because of the fact that uh, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels so bad right now. Teardrop, hi! Glad you're safe. I was worried. Thank you, Teardrop. Sorry if I missed you when you came in. How about Chen? How Thank you doing? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can decide what being Muslim means to you. It's personal. Exactly. There's no compulsion in Islam. Like they say, you're not... You know, like certain things anyways. It doesn't even say in the Quran, you have to wear a hijab on your head. It's interpreted that way by scholars, but mostly what it is verbatim, it's like to cover, make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body. Like don't dress like what we would call skank dress, you know, which I used to do. Yeah, but I don't miss that. I like to be covered up. Honestly, I do. I, I, I'm 40. I want to kind of start dressing my age. Not that if you want to dress, you know, like that when, when you're 60, that's no problem. But for me, I think I like, you know, like this stuff, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I uh, honestly, I, I don't miss the lingerie days or the days she used to like wear ham colored panties. And I had to guess whether or not she was actually wearing panties. I really don't miss those days. Those days were not fun. I remember this. Yeah, that one stream I did and people are like, is she like naked from like at the bottom or does she actually have something on? I'm like, I could swear there was like a black bowl, but it was ham colored. So it. It literally blended into her skin. Those days were not fun. And then the the flashing, 
that she was doing the random flashing days back two years ago. That wasn't cute either. I want to go walking too, Rebecca. Reginald doll! My, the doll I was going to get for my birthday. Reggie, please! Welcome! So, yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Hey, Brooke. Cumbersome! Welcome, cumbersome! Ready, set, bees! Bees! <laughs> Can we DD <deedy> wig bees? <laughs> no! I don't even... Oh, no, I don't have my wig. Maybe. No. Thank you, Lin um, Linda. Yeah, my glasses are new. Exactly. No wine. I'm, I'm not going to drink alcohol. But, uh, no. Turbo 2! Welcome to Vampire Prime Beezers! Ready, set, bees! Hi, glam girl! Thank you, everybody, Michelle. <laughs> The ham busted biscuit dress was epic. Oh, yes, I remember her summer dresses. All of them. The yellow dress that was peak. Then she had the white one. Then she switched it to the black one with like the red flowers. And then she had the blue one with like the blue and white flowers. From uh, what was that place called again? That boutique in Montreal for plus size people. Rock and Rond. Yes, that's the one. Rock so I'm pretty much Ronde. just going to be around the bush. I'm gonna take some pain meds. Yeah, no, no. Carton. How many milligrams? Yeah, I can have one, one more pill. The uh, the hair stuff that she was putting into her hair. Oh boy. Because that's my brand is Foodie Beauty, you know. <sighs> is Incorporate a real person or AI? I don't know. Never heard of them. Thanks for the super chat. Who's that? <laughs> Brittany, what's going on? Tangerine. Thank you, Nashi girl. I'm looking for my Kleenex. I was run out of Kuwait by the Islamic radicalists. No, I wasn't. They're not. There's no radicalists in Kuwait. Those are mostly in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Not the Gulf countries. Maybe Saudi Arabia. No, I don't know. The body con. The green, the green olive one wasn't bad. Yeah, that dress wasn't bad at all. Actually, sorry, it was a very good gross. color for her. <laughs> oh yeah, I was listening to. So I was listening to the Dire Straits. I need to. And I can't go to eat. My hijab is slipping. <laughs> Pakistan bees. <laughs> Hi, Miss Linda. Did it, Brenda? No. Pete's bees, please. He's working. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. My birthday's over. <laughs> Hoopa clapping celebrity with Kaz. I would. <laughs> I had a decent birthday. Hi, Ribby. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Ribby. Thank you. I don't even care who's talking shit about me right now. I feel too, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Happy. <laughs> Hi, Scrape Goat. Sister, I think you missed the ass repair today. Oh, no. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I did, actually. All right, well, I guess we're we're back to... But again, that's my personal business. Car bees in. Instead of uh, beach side bees in, it's now car bees in. Wherever she's going to go, she's going to sit in the car and talk. I was doing a lot today. I was out. And I can't... I'm not doing it. Like, I can do it in my heart in public, but... Who here has been watching Queen Cobra? Um, to a lot of people, it's a lot more interesting than Foodie Beauty these days. Especially when there is a looming eviction for King Cobra due to what people are presuming is the uh, the fights, the screaming, the yelling between Queen Cobra and King Cobra. Mike, remember for three months, happy belated birthday 40th. Thank you, Mike. Ready, set, rebies. <laughs> Good night, Nisi, Nisi. Have a great one. Bye-bye. I got back to Canada yesterday. Yeah, I'm staying in Canada for good. We should do a stories. <coughs> Boycotting, supposed to. Um, so yeah, just, I came back here, like, for many reasons, like, there's just, I don't even know how to give one answer, so, those pillows, what, hi Susie, I go back and forth, you know how many times I've made this trip, like, what, six, I'll read my chat, sorry, Brittany, what did I miss, I'm so full of life, love the sun, rain, down under, shopping bees, yeah, I'm still married. I'm so relieved when I come back here. Well, you know, while I'm here, yeah, like, there's a relief, but at the same time, there's, like, a heartache a bit, you know? So, yeah. Oh, well, that's life. 
I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody, Billy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Canada looks good on you. Yikes. Is she sped up? You mean Pondu? Yeah, she's at 1.25x. <laughs> let's go buy a mullet wig. Ready? Welcome to the first work here, recipes. Okay, let's, I'm going to go drive somewhere to have dinner and then. Whoa, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. The stupid thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to lose weight. Don't you fall. Circle in the sand. Yeah, church up. Yes, I'm getting Sam. And yes, I'm going to take very good care of him. His nails are not going to get too long. Chantel's trusty box here. Small up. Now yeah, there's a rager. Some of the little abusers are coming back. It definitely is. Falls deep. You can dream on. I'd rather be dead. Can we go egg their house? Yeah, I have a video. Yeah, I filmed some of the journey. Yep. <clears throat> We're not over. No. Circle in the sand. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, Sam is coming back. Yeah. My poor guy. The first time Shatmaster doesn't answer the phone, she'll be back on a plane or freaking out. Yeah, I think you're right. If he doesn't answer for a few hours, she'll be wondering, uh, is it K-Bella 2345 that's over there? Yeah. There's a tractor coming. Hi. She is not going to be happy. There's a tractor with a guy who's carrying a big piece of a tree. I didn't escape. Yes, of course. Let the farting begin. No. <laughs> I have been to Germany. Yeah. Not only the German, the uh, Frankfurt airport. Well, good for her. World traveler here. World traveler foodie beauty has been to the States, Qatar for layovers. Uh, Kuwait, um, Cuba, uh, Thailand, and now Germany for a layover world traveler. I can't type in the 100. I can't type in the chat. It's not possible for my PayPal. Unless someone wants to type it. It's C-S-A-R-A, -A C-Sara, 084 at hotmail.com or paypal.me slash backslash foodie beauty. <clears throat> yeah, Salah and I are fine. Um, we, I didn't come here because... Um, anything to do with the relationship. I came here for, it's too hot Kuwait. I need health care. I miss driving. I miss beezing. And, uh, I want to take a stab at my career in yodeling. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Julia, yeah, he's going to take care of Julia. Um, and he'll just bring her here, you know, or if he, if something happens and he can't, I will go back to Kuwait and get her and just feel find mm -hmm. out. Like I'm overwhelmed with bringing, I am not healthy enough. Like, first of all, I can't have my own pet until I get my own place. So right, right then, where would she come right now? You know, second, I'm barely well enough to take myself on this freaking journey. Stupid 17 and a half hour freaking travel day. Oh, I legit, like, I can't even tell you. You're so tired. I took a red eye. My flight was at 1 45 AM. So like, it was like you're tired already and then when you start falling asleep they turn on the lights it's like you get, we got to frankfurt at like six something in the morning i was so tired then you have to walk around a huge airport wait in a huge line for security mm -hmm. and then like it's just 18 hours yeah because he can't just come here like you know can't you drive with the camera pointing upward oh no i can't do that something will happen welcome back no name we all miss you. Thank you, Sunflower. It's very hard leaving him. It's not easy. Chantal, the link is for the people. They don't want to be attacked for supporting your channel. Oh, I get it. Me personally, I don't care. Are you confused no, about I totally get girl. that. Yeah. Can we get stoned tonight? When I get my own place, we can have... Probably instantly, Mon. She kept on talking about weed and how, you know, she can't be doing so much NSAIDs and whatnot. And green is just so much better. She definitely has weed. Have like a, I don't know, hamburgerized bees in. No, <laughs> we can have like you know, a hangout at nights. I can do like live streams like three times a day again. <laughs> Coffee bees. 
dinner bees, cooking bees, and night bees, and Mario bees. <sighs> no, I'm too nervous driving in Kuwait. I still have the same old CPAP. Yeah, I'm going to get food custody. They have healthcare, but it's expensive for like certain things, you know? I was attacked and accused of being a troll. People don't know we've been friends for a while. Yeah, I heard that. No name. That's not cool. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what I want to eat. Where do I want to take you guys? What are we in the mood for? Asian, Indian, not Indian. Well, we know she ended up with Sahiba. <laughs> the pot pie. She bring your play button home. Hey, Brenda, thank you. Lock my. I brought my play button home because I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna send it back, and they're gonna send me one that says Foodie Beauty, <laughs> because the Miriam one is damaged. Like there was a dent in it. So they said if it's damaged, I can return it. They will send me a label. I return it, and then once they get it, they'll send me one. Back. Interesting. Very very interesting. I just waved at a farmer. <laughs> Bye -bye. Yeah, that's not halal, though. There's not much halal stuff here. Smash it with a hammer and get a new one, inshallah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I might roll down the hill, yeah. Because I'm dressed modest, I can do a modest work hill rolling. Put in. Yeah. Farm boy bees, yum, yum. Farm boy mac and cheese. <laughs> I know I thought Foodie Beauty was dead. Well, some parts, <laughs> but you know. <sighs> Anyways, I'm just trying to be positive. Like it is hard, you know. When like sometimes I have to really try, because I do like. Anyway, I miss a lot of things, you know. Yeah, another hill roll. She seems too excited. Uh, I think she's excited to see family and be back. I don't think she truly does like Kuwait. I think she, she had her choice. She'd rather have Salah in Canada, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, considering that all she's been doing is not applying for him and doing the necessary things that she's had a literal year and a half to do. Because she's literally had a year and a half to do certain things like 500 days and she has not done or lifted a finger what does she expect no l5 i'm not <laughs> it was happier i was home a lot of people both yeah what are buffalo balls not right now jerry most people have to try to be positive it doesn't come natural for everybody yeah, nothing like the Western world. I don't know. There's a lot of things I miss about the East, too. So many things I could do in 500 days, but she could have had a good amount of her application for Salah to come to Canada done in those 500 days. And I, I probably could swear to you that she hasn't even started anything whatsoever. No applications done and no nothing done. And there's things I miss even about Thailand. Zero. Like, every culture has its pros, you know? Yes, if, you know, if we were over, I would tell you guys if I felt like it, but stop telling her to eat trash food, yeah. I feel like eating, like, junk, though. No, I'm kidding. Just don't become a potty mouth. I have lots of bang language. No, I'm not going to, no, yeah. I don't think I will. Ah, no. It's okay. Go be happy in both places. It's less okay to be unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Canada has better gravy. Just breathe and take your time with everything. Yeah, exactly. Can we want it fast? Hi, Jessica! Just put a singer purse when you drive. Dude, that's I want to listen to music and things. So they have fork salad in Canada. What? Hi, energy! Strawberry picking bees. Healthy meals only. Belinda's big five head. I'm so happy right now. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Purse bees. Yeah, well, obviously they're gonna be higher right now. I was gone for a while. You know. A lot of love and support here. That's another reason, too. Yeah. 
you know. I just felt like, what future do I have over there? I can't, like, in the summer, I can't go out. Like, I guess if I worked really hard, really hard, I guess making a future for myself, I need to be healthy, like, no matter what. But there, it was, like, a lot harder for me, you know? So I do have a lot more support here. Just want to be, let's drive to Orange Julep and Bees. Are you kidding? I can't go live at Orange Julep. People are going to show up there. They know where that is. But thanks for the super chat. <laughs> I can get some dog spray. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's illegal. What are you even allowed to defend yourself with in Canada? It's illegal to have everything. It's like if someone's trying to kill you and you pepper spray them, you go to jail for the pepper spray and they go to jail for murder. But you still go to jail for the pepper spray. You would think she'd actually know what the laws are. Does YouTube really replace plaques like that? I don't know. I've never had a plaque, so I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I think they would because, of course, there are going to be plaques that are going to be damaged, right? So you think they'd um, replace them. Thanks, Leslie. <laughs> so all right here's what the laws in canada are if you're using beer spray it really depends on what the purpose is remember the purpose really doesn't matter for anything even for knives and whatnot so if if let's say um i'm at an international park and i have beer spray and the cops stop me and they're like why do you have beer spray i'm like i'm at an international park or a national park i should say rather like a Algonquin Park or Provincial Park. Let's say I'm on I'm in Algonquin Park. The cops stop me. And they're like, "What the hell? Why do you have a uh, bear spray?" But like, that's because I'm in this provincial park. You never know what's gonna happen. It's legal. If they stop me and I have bear spray and I'm on like a clubbing street, there's no excuse. There's no bears. There's no animals that could hurt me. There's no purpose for the bear spray except for it to be used as a weapon. So therefore, I'm going to get charged. Let's say I have a, a knife. There is a standard for knives in certain length. But see, situation, the situation really doesn't matter. So let's say I have a knife. It's a couple of inches long. And the cops stop me. They're like, why do you have this really long blade on you? But like, oh, um, I work in construction. And I use it to, you know, cut my drywall because the types of boards we use are hardy board and usually have to use these really hard boards in the shower. And I got to use this knife because it makes my work faster. Then it's legal. If I have this long blade on me and I'm on Young Street, <laughs> I'm not cutting boards on Young Street on a Friday night. OK, so therefore, it really does depend on the situation. Knives in Canada are six inches or less and cannot be a gravity knife. That is true. Typically, there is a certain length of knives that you can or cannot have. But um, based on previous rulings that have set a precedent in Canada, it really now actually does boil down to the uh, situational factor that's going on and why you have it. I just I feel I can't be weird in public there. That's the only thing. <sighs> I think Pamela gets some bear spray. Carry a butter knife. Hey, remember that uh, the death of a cheerleader? The woman had a knife with her cucumbers in the car. Is that allowed? No. Eva's beauty. I couldn't like. Uh, yeah, in Canada that would be allowed because then she'd say, "I have a knife in my car because I'm cutting my cucumbers." He was an illegal weapon, though. That's my problem. I can't. I could never. Anyways, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I'm not leaving the Kia. So if you come up to me, I'm just gonna drive away. Bright neon stain. Hi, Vanessa. Put put. I don't pay the car payments. I know you guys think that, but I don't. So yes, I'll be fine. Do you hear this, or is it just me? So, um, any other questions before I'm I'm gonna go live again where I get when I get to where I want to eat, I guess. I'll just say I'm on a, I'm not going to Akron. I'm not going to Ohio. I'm not going anywhere where pot is illegal ever again. She claims she's still married. Hi, Christina. Mm -hmm. We shall see. You know what? Things come out. Uh, all it, all it takes is a, is a bite, right? Take your health seriously, please. I don't know. Anyway, sushi. Hey, Vanessa. I'm just back. Just for a lot of reasons. I'm just, I'm okay, but live your life. Yeah. Thanks. No name. I'm not planning on going to Kuwait right now, no. Anytime soon. Take us. I'm not going. I'm not doing that travel journey anymore. Like I, I can't do it. Like the thousands of dollars spent back and forth. 
Um, the, 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 the toll it takes on you mentally, like every minute, I'm just like, okay, just stay calm, just stay calm. In every lineup, in every, like, oh, it was just a lot of walking. I'm not used to that. And, it, you know, in Germany airport, you can't ask for help. Like, I, I'm like, is this shuttle, is there like a shuttle service? Like, they're like, oh, man, you have to pre-book that. It's like for people who are like disabled and you need to book it two days in advance. She seems so, happy. Okay. I think it's because she's back. I really do. <sighs> Scared, I'm, go. I'm still kind of not 100 percent sure with that monza a lot of people are like sala doesn't make money and i do believe it mostly but i'm still holding out for like i don't know like a five or ten percent chance that he does contribute somehow you never know but we'll see all like i said all it takes is like a literal fight and foodie beauty will spill the beans and her man like she did that one time they fought how long ago was that like a year ago remember she came on and she started like uh, dragging him and then they made up later. Hi, Sabre. Oh, it is Cheryl. How are you? Thanks, Evie's Beauty. I seem happier. I'm sad, though. I have a bidet. I took one with me. Salah got me one. <laughs> he thought of that, too. See, that's what I miss about him. He thinks of things that I don't think of. Anyway. I don't know. There's things that you you don't know and will never understand because I don't talk about it. But yeah, everything else. Yeah, he is thoughtful, you know, in, in a lot of ways. The day bees. <laughs> yeah, I brought brought a bidet with me. I hope I can install it. She actually like brought a bidet. Really? I can't see them. Okay. So guys, you gave me a bidet. Yeah, we had an extra one. I don't remember why. Yeah, um, for her to actually think Pete's was going to install that bidet back in the luxury villa, I'm like, no, he's not. Long, like, it's kind of technical, not really if you know your stuff, but to him, where he was literally using a, a power tool, but not as a power tool, as a manual tool. Remember that time back in 2021? What were they putting together? They were putting together a table of sorts and the man literally had a battery powered cordless power tool and he was using it like a manual screwdriver i was like i'm done oh i think we took the one because the old one i think it was like a dewalt because it was black and yellow because only two brands are black and yellow dewalt and stanley i don't think it was a stanley i think it was a dewalt was ours? i don't remember anyway Yeah, Emma, he's, yeah, it's very different. Like, not just that, but. Yeah, Cypher. I, I remember this distinctly because what happened was I was in Montreal and I was on my way home and they were putting together that table. I forgot what it was. It was for something for the kitchen and he brought out the power tool, but it was literally using the power tool, like, um, not as the way you're supposed to use it. And I was like, yeah, they're they're never going to get that together. Yeah, the baker's Weird. rack. Yes, thank you. Thank you. It was the baker's rack. Because I remember I was like, it's something for the kitchen. The baker's rack is what it was. 2021 during the summertime. I feel a bit lonely. But that's okay. I'm not going to run, keep running back. Like, I have to, like, stick to my guns. Make an Amazon wish list for your new place. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. Thanks, Melly. <laughs> Sorry, my nose. That's not the plan, uh, Mimi Pondu. Hi, Sula. Hope there's not a K Bella 2.0. Me too. Do you know how hard it is when you've been through something like that with someone to trust them when you're away? So, obviously, I'm dealing with that. <laughs> but the thing is, is I'm not going to let it um, ruin like my time, you know? And that's really hard for me because that's all I sometimes want to focus on so I have to force myself to like be productive and distract myself with other things and get used to this new reality and it feels like I'm always getting used to a new reality and it's like really mentally hard you know like I, I make my life harder on myself <laughs> maybe she's purchased I think she already has Ziggy I can pretty much bet anything she's already purchased edibles she can't she can't be without them 
But yeah. But um yeah, so I mean, you know. Ah, uh, Vouchin, you know what? There's always YouTube. You can learn a lot from YouTube. You just gotta pick the right person with the right video to tell you exactly what to do. Thanks, Faith Love Life. Yeah, I know, Chinny. I just want to talk about it. I just want to focus on positive things. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> No, if I ever, if something ever happened and I had to be single again, I would stay that way. I don't have any emotional energy to invest in something. I just don't, I, I can't do it. I don't want to. I don't. So happy with just good people around me. That's platonic. Fine. That's fine with me. Don't forget the duct tape. <laughs> yep. Just, I'm fine. I'm 40, you know. <laughs> I can't keep, not just age, I don't care. I, I can't keep doing it. My great-grandfather fell in love at 89. Let's go to Farm Boy and use the bathroom. I <laughs> just want to be. Okay, I will do that eventually. Those with cheers are a thousand. Yeah, don't forget some are 2,000. Yeah, I am good. But yeah, the 2,000 milligram ones are, are a waste. I would even say 1,000 milligrams are a waste. How much can your body actually take when something's in your intestines? I think if you're like 200 milligrams, I think you kind of max out between two and three. That's just my colored guess, but who knows? 100% in us. Thanks, guys. I look over 25. You're right. Men need women. We don't need that. Mistress Black Dracula. I don't know. Paneer and root beer. No name. Keep things private, hun. Whatever will be, will be. You'll be okay. Yeah. Thank you, no name. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, out of respect for my relationship, because I know you, I want to address just this, that I know you, a lot of you can't comprehend how I could even, you know, ever forgive somebody, like get, forgive him for that or whatever. But like I said, I've evaluated on based on a lot of other things, good things in a relationship. And, um, you know, I'm. Wow. 2,500 milligram ones. I wonder if they have that close to me, but there's no way I, I'm not like a. That that would totally knock me out, Mons. I don't think I could handle that. I remember when S Jam got some from Foodie Beauty and it wasn't even a thousand or so. I forgot how much she said it was. I think she said it was like two or three and he got knocked out. And then he slept the whole night and left <laughs> the next day, Ottawa. I'm like, what a waste of a trip. I made that decision. Um, that being said, um, you know, I'm also not going, I'm also taking care of myself and not going to, like, I'm always, I always have my guard up <laughs> in a way now, you know, so. I also, um, just out of respect for my marriage, I don't want to talk about like very personal things about a relationship or about Salah. Um, you can, yeah, Jessica, you guys don't have to like, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, abusers still like him and he is really good to me in a lot of ways. And, you know, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to like talk personally about a relationship. I didn't do that really with Evie. Right. I don't think so. Um, well, maybe a little bit about it's when things are about me and how I'm feeling, it's hard not to talk about that, you know. But take you your time to settle in and just breathe. Thank you, Keena Berry. Yeah, because you vomited compulsively for days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm single, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks, Emma Pearl. Maybe thanks, Lily Mindfully. Thanks, Don. I'm glad you guys understand. Most OGP users do not. <laughs> well. Anyways, Ziggy says, I think the marriage is on its way out. Well, if she hasn't applied for him in like a year and a half, it definitely will be on the way out. That's how I think about it. You have 500 days to start something and you haven't even started. Of course, it's going to be on the way out. Yeah, I can't go through. I could never go through that again. No. These moonlight desires haunt me. They want me. <laughs> I was listening to that and singing and I realized I would be on a cringe compilation if anyone saw this. No, Adonis. Yes, let's go. Hey, Ariel. I want to go have dinner. You had an edible and you I... thought your legs disappeared? How much was it? How many milligrams, Ziggy? Melissa. Yeah, Graham and G, I am. I'm worlds away from my husband, yeah. So I'm, I'm sad about that. You know, because I really do love him, but 
I feel like I had to come back. But then whenever I get here, I'm so sad. And I miss Julia and Harry. You can't ever say goodbye enough, you know? But I hope I see her again someday. Good for you, baby girl. <laughs> You're having fajitas? The way how she's talking about seeing them someday makes me feel as if she's never coming back. Like, what's up with that? Please, money for rescue mission. She's fine with Salah for now. He's the cat dad. I felt bad. Whenever you have a pet, you, who, how do you decide who has custody? You know, like when I when I moved out from Pete, he kept Timbit and I kept the other cats. Like, but this cat we got together, and he grew very, very close to her. We both did. We had her like nights every night. Mm -hmm. She would be laying on the bed. I'd be laying across the bed the other way, and she would lay right at right by my head at his feet. And we would watch a movie because I'm more comfortable when I watch a movie like laying this way, and he's more comfortable this way. Julia's like this, and she watches TV with us, and like she yawns and she and her breast goes like fishy moon. He is a best pet dad. Uh, I don't remember the name of the eyeliners from Amazon. I'll check. Yeah, teardrop. Hi, Abel and Maverick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. <laughs> right, Ziggy. The pets are fine, Half Light. You're being dramatic for nothing. She's fine. I'm going to get her back. We grow through our experiences and experience. If it continues or not, we'll make you grow and stronger. Traveling and getting. Yes, and getting into other cultures, like experiencing other cultures. Yeah. Exactly. Years. Julia's fishy fish. <laughs> what? Having loved ones abroad is heartbreaking. I don't know if I want Chinese. What time is it? What about? Thanks, ABCDFG. Yeah. Harry Howington. Yeah. You think she's not going back? Well, we'll see. Uh, the last time I thought she was going to be in Canada for a while, and she um decided to go back. So. We shall see what happens this time. I Whatever happens, if she goes back, she goes back. If she doesn't go back, she doesn't go back. I want to get Harry Hamilton back. Just another... Right now. There's no way. There's just no way. Just another oh, chapter. Where would they stay until I get my place? No. Haley Henry, welcome to your first bees. Not pizza, pizza. I want to go in somewhere and relax. <laughs> Carolina, yeah. Hi, Carrie. Carrie and Minnie. I know every time I eat Chinese, you're right, Jessica. I always complain about it. It's one of those things. Domino's, no. Putin, oh yeah, Putin, no. My face. Oh, he does, Millie. We we video chat. Yeah, okay, Rook. Well, Sheen Steakhouse, my ass. Um, yeah, Nia, but not today. I didn't. I haven't really been. I don't know. Like, if I take my meds without the pills, I don't know if I. Like, I try fasting, but then, like, sometimes if I take my pills on, like, on an empty stomach, especially the pain ones, the, the NSAIDs or the, like, it just feels, oh, my God, it's the worst stomach pain. So I've learned that, no, if I'm going to take, if I need to take my pills, I have to eat something with it. Some pills you shouldn't take on an empty stomach. Wings, paneer. All right, good to know, foodie. <laughs> Vietnamese. You're going to have Chinese? No, I'm yum. Baba gun. Ew. No way. No, not to that, but yeah, I'm in Canada. Is she homeless? She's at her mom's. That's where she's staying. She just doesn't want people to know. If she's not at her mom's, I think it's like 90% I feel she's at her mom's. If she really and truly isn't at her mom's, I would expect her to be at Auntie Rasta's place. But most likely, I do believe she's at her mom's. I think Auntie Rasta wants to have her her space. If anything, she's somewhere in Cornwall. Buffalo chicken wrap? Thrillo. Yeah, but I'm kind of having trouble not eating. <gasps> Chicken Parmesan! Okay, I'm going to go find somewhere and I'll come back. There's no bathroom around here. I gotta pee. Yeah, with the NSAIDs, yeah. And my diet, like my Janumed, you have to eat with, take with food. I don't know. I think that's what the doctor said. <laughs> Thanks, hearty! I can't have bacon. Chicken parma noodles. Mall Chinese. Oh, mall Chinese. No, not mall. To go in a mall right now? Hi, Travonda. Be safe and keep positive. Catch you. Thank you, Mistress Von Dracula. Amber Chick. What? Oh. Yeah. I'm going to do my best, Bailey. Yes. Shanghai 360. I think they do. Do what the doc says. Yeah. 
Oh my god, shiny object. Hello. Lasagna yum. Calm down. There's some hello Indian Emma, but Hibachi. Hibachi. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick somewhere and I'll go live again when I'm there, okay? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Jamaican meat patties, the place is gonna close. Rita's hello. <laughs> we don't have a sonic yellow. Oh boy, the Jamaican meat patty place. Okay. People making me laugh. Yes, I have plan on getting a doctor. You're excited? Rochetta. Yeah, you can get an ulcer, exactly. Watch your back to your top. Yeah, exactly. You should put a wig on your hijab as a disguise. Hi, Monica. Thank you. Hi, Louise. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, guys, everybody. Um, cheese and ham cheddars. What is that? I can't eat ham. If you're Muslim with health issues that require you to stay hydrated. I have to stay hydrated, yeah. The meds, if they don't take a lot of water with the genuine, they can cause, hey, Caroline, they can cause um kidney issues. Yeah, Lynn, ulcers, I don't, yeah. Mm. Beef and is gonna get need a decent credit or a co-signer to rent. Yeah, renting a place is super hard these days. We're still in a very huge rental crisis. So these days, uh, unless you have real good credit, you you know you you know have a history of renting places with very good references and a great job. Uh, there there is a good chance you might get a place. If you have like animals, it kind of deters people from renting to you because people will, uh, you know, have their animals mess up people's places. So I totally understand that. But yeah, with Foodie Beauty's bad credit, uh, lack of employment, and everything else, it's going to be super hard for her unless a family member vouches for her and gets her a place or she just stays at her mom's. Cheddar. <gasps> Peace is working. Eat ham as medicine. Ew. No thanks. Mac and cheese loaf. That has pork. I wish I had, could have that. It's my favorite deli meat. Arby's got the meats. Oh, I'm gonna go in somewhere and eat. Like just, you know. Okay, I'll go find somewhere and I'll come back. I'll be back, guys. So watch out. All right, that's it. Your mac and cheese. You know when your thing digs in. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Um. Yeah. As as Ziggy says, there is a housing shortage. It's really bad especially in Ontario and whatnot. And uh, we shall see what happens, though. Well, Foodie Beauty is back in Canada. Who would have thought? Well, a lot of you thought. So uh, you need um, all those things. It's tough out there. She might get a shithole, though. She could. We'll see, though. But thanks, people, for hanging out with me. Do appreciate all you. Smash that like button. I'll be back. Check out my other stuff on Filtrum. Um, I'm going to start streaming on my main Filtrum channel. Uh, if anything crazy comes up, I'll just, you know, fire up a stream. Other than that, I'll stick to videos. Uh, Filtrum Uncensored. I've been doing some Daniel Larson streams. I'm going to do a stream tomorrow. Uh, Daniel Larson, uh, throwback to the Walmart incident plus the Olive Garden incident. So check that out if you want to. But thank you so much, people. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Bye-bye.